a Canby couple is horrified after their private photos, some of them intimate, end up on a stranger's new cell phone. Oh, and the couple has now filed a $4 million lawsuit against Verizon, claiming unlawful trade practices and a negligent data breach. Our Amy Frazier is here with more on how could this happen, Amy? Jennifer, that's part of the problem. The couple tells me they haven't been able to get any answers from Verizon. So they say they're suing to hold the company accountable and to help protect other consumers. I was absolutely shocked, um, really horrified. Last week, Diana Peters of Canby got an unusual call from a former coworker. And Nick told me that he had photos of me and photos of Jeff and um, he was really concerned for us that this isn't right. He had purchased a new cell phone for his grandmother from the Verizon store in Malala and was helping her set it up at home. There was a teensy bit of relief in the fact that um, it was Nick and someone with integrity. When he downloaded his grandma's photos from the Verizon cloud, he says he found about 50 photos mixed in of Diana and her fiance Jeff, people his grandmother doesn't know. Most of the pictures are her fiance's truck and travels, but there were also a few intimate photos of Diana. My concern would be that um, this has happened elsewhere and to other people and people are being exploited. Diana says they called customer service but got the runaround. Her fiance also went to the Verizon store looking for an explanation. It can all be summed down to whoops, we don't know. According to the federal lawsuit, he was told by Verizon's agent that nothing could be done unless plaintiff hired a big shot lawyer to try and take on Verizon. So that's what they've done. We pay for a service to be secure and they advertise it as a safe way to not lose your family's memories. But that's not the case if other people have access. Now we also contacted Verizon today, but we haven't heard back yet. We'll keep you posted on the lawsuit. Jennifer? Yeah.